you guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to be talking about the 10 the top 10 things that i no longer buy or will no longer be buying in the year 2024 okay so let's get into it okay starting in and coming in at number one is deodorant i got my little handy thing here so deodorant I do not buy deodorant anymore. I will not be buying deodorant anymore because no matter, first of all, I'm not a heavy girl, I'm not a big girl, but I got some arms and I got some thighs and stuff. You know, you done had six kids. However, I do perspire a lot. Um, whether it's in the summertime or anything, if it's just hot, I perspire a lot. So it's constantly putting on deodorant two, three, four, five times a day, which can be annoying, um, especially if it's not doing what it's supposed to do. I done went from women's deodorant to men's deodorant and yeah, it's just not doing what it's doing. So I've decided and I did some research and different things like that and then I had a friend um, that also, she kept saying, Brittany, you know, I will go to the doctor, try to figure out why am I perspiring so much. Um, and my deodorant is just not doing what it's doing. And I'm tired of going from medicated deodorant to this deodorant to that deodorant. And nothing is really given. So her doctor told her to go the holistic way and to try using a lemon. So I'm like, okay, cool. She said that she took a lemon and she literally, let me put that down. She literally cut the lemon in half and she took, and she didn't even squeeze out the juices. She just left it there, cut the lemon in half took one ring put it under this arm and then took the other one put it under that arm and of course threw it in the trash she said literally after bathing taking her shower and putting the lemon underneath her arm she had no signs of perspiring for the entire day i don't know what it is about the lemon but i'm going to research it a little bit more but there is something in some um medicinal properties um there's also some antioxidant and different things like that uh, properties that is in the lemon that actually controls uh, the sweat, the perspiring, as well as body odor um, in your body. So she stopped buying deodorant and I said, okay, well, let me go on and try it. Girl, your girl did the thing. So I will no longer <laughs> be spending money on deodorant in the year 2024. Your girl is going to just shower and go ahead and cut her a lemon and use it underneath her arm so that she can go ahead and go about her day, okay? 50 something cent for the lemon compared to $2, almost three, sometimes $4 for some deodorant. Yeah, you do the math. Number two, okay? Number two, underwear slash panties slash bras. I don't know about y'all, but your girl, does not and i know this is a bit tmi it's a bit tmi but you know most of my subscribers and followers 90 something percent of y'all are all females so i think it's cool that we can go ahead and i'm um, talking about this but i hate wearing bras okay i hate wearing bras it's it's itchy i done did the underwire i done did the sports i done did all of that still uncomfortable okay i have six kids my mine is to the point where you can judge it up by pushing it up with whatever type of form-fitting um, attire that you wear. I like to wear loungewear a lot, so um, most of my loungewear dresses and different things like that, I, I, I can go ahead and wear them without a bra and still be okay and still be comfortable. I don't feel like I'm tight. I don't feel like I have all of this stuff just yeah it's uncomfortable same thing with the panties it's ridiculous i don't like walking around with a panty liner i don't like wearing thongs i don't want nothing up my backside that don't need to be there you know what i'm saying um i, I just don't like the uncomfortness of it so i wear a lot of biker shorts um, if you know what I mean, you get the little biker shorts, you can pull them up, they can situate your waist. You know me, I have a mom belly, fupa, whatever you guys want to call it. You know, I have six children, it's kind of hard to get rid of it, and I'm also in my postpartum stage right now. So yeah, I like stuff that's going to situate me, push me in, tuck me in, and not feel like I'm uncomfortable, so I like to wear the biker shorts. And they have biker shorts out there that are made for that. Um, go ahead, take and put you a panty liner inside the biker shorts if you want to, so that you can keep your, you know, yourself together. But yeah, panties, bras, all of that, 
Um, mm -mm, out of the question. I no longer will be buying. And to be honest with you, I don't buy them now. So <laughs> yeah, that's coming in at number two. All right, so let's get into the next one. Number three, lotion. I don't even remember the last time I bought lotion. I believe the last time I bought lotion was maybe like nine years ago. And I'm being honest with you. I don't use lotion. I have eczema. My children have eczema. My, we just, lotion is just not for us. We done tried everything we needed to try. And for some reason, it's just not doing what it's supposed to do. So we don't use lotion. A lot of you are probably wondering, well, Brittany, what do you put on your little ashy butt when you get out the bath? Girl, I got you. I don't use lotion. However, we do use olive oil and or coconut oil. So when you get out the shower or you get out the bath or whatever it is that you're going to do, go ahead while you're still wet, not while you're dry, while you're still wet, get you some extra virgin olive oil or some coconut oil and put it on your body and on your skin and then take a towel and don't rub yourself, but pat dry yourself once you get out the bath. That does so much for my skin coconut oil and olive oil have tons of medicinal properties have tons of antibiotic antioxidants excuse me in there and they're also good for healing properties okay so it does good with your skin it blocks you from a lot of the sun ray it keeps you from getting sunburned different things like that a lot of you probably like no it don't yes it do do your research and it's really really good for you it helps me with my skin i use it on my children i use it on all of them from birth until now however old they are and i've been using it on myself for a while me i grew up in a family my family all have eczema so we were used to using um you guys call it aquaphor now they have aquaphor um as like the the generic brand of it but we used what was called eucerin and eucerin was like this thick pasty lotion that you would put on your body and it would really help you out a lot i mean like a lot a lot but the thing is it was too greasy it was too thick and i felt like i was like Ugh, you know what i'm saying it was like no matter what you did baby it took a lot to get that stuff off so yeah that's what we do we don't buy lotion at all i don't buy lotion at all it's just either an extra version of olive oil and or coconut oil so that's what we use so in 2024 um i'm not going to say i no longer will be buying it i have stopped buying it i haven't used lotion in over nine years okay so let's get into it so coming in at number four Number four, something that I will no longer be doing in 2024. I did it in 2023. I didn't do it as much as I did in 2022 because you know you girl sometimes, but I will no longer be buying fast food in 2024, okay? A lot of you guys are like, what, what, what? Yes, I will no longer. Now, I don't eat fast food all the time anyway. Last year, granted, there were days where mommy don't feel like cooking. Even if it's putting it in the oven, sometimes I didn't feel like doing Girl, I'm going to Uber Eats me, DoorDash me something within a quickie if I feel like I need to, okay? So that's what I went ahead and did, and we had a ball. I think I DoorDashed Uber Eats me, I'm going to say maybe about five or six times last year. That's still a bit much, girl, so don't even act like it's little, but that's still a bit much um, last year. However, in 2024, with everything that's going on, the food, the, the shortages, and all, it, it's, it's just too much. People are not... I mean, it's been like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? You still eat, but you eat at different places. But I won't be spending my money on fast food. I feel like it takes all of the money. Um, and your girl like to cook. I'm a whole cookbook author. If you don't know, I am a cookbook author. I am a two-time best-selling cookbook author. I have four different cookbooks as well as a cookbook journal. I'm going to leave the links in the description box. So if you want to check them out, you can go ahead and do them. And my books are available on Amazon. Um, but yes, I, I'm, I'm a whole cook here, okay? I'm a cook. I'm a chef. My husband is. It's, it's just, why you why you ordering now? But yes, in 2024, I will no longer be buying fast food food period okay i love to cook but even on days that i don't want to cook um i am training my older children to cook not my son he's 13 he's he's like cook what give me some ramen noodles and i'm good but my nine-year-old my oldest daughter she loves to cook so i am teaching her how to cook she can cook a lot of stuff and she has been helping out a lot when mommy don't feel like cooking my baby can burn okay not burn literally but she can actually cook like a full-fledged 
gourmet Thanksgiving meal, okay? And she loves to do it. So yes, we will be doing strictly nothing but cooking. Even if it's, um, there are days where we don't feel like cooking, girl, we're going raw, okay? We're gonna do some raw meals, get you some salads, different things like that. But I feel like it's a good way to also kickstart the year with this healthy kick you know we always do that january 1st we like yeah we going on the healthy kick and we're gonna go ahead and do some exercises girl by the time february 1st come everybody done broke their little traditions okay and that's what i don't do new year's resolutions i just go in and i just do whatever it is that the lord is telling me to do and i just go ahead and do that so yeah that's what we're going to do we are going to stop buying fast food so i don't care how many times my kids say mom can we get little caesars mom can no we got little caesars at home we got little caesars at publix we got little caesars at walmart we got little caesars at bj's they gonna hate me for it but guess what <laughs> they're gonna thank me for it in the long run because they're gonna be some healthy little babies number five is mouthwash i don't remember the last time i bought mouthwash a lot of you probably like ew Brittany. no your girl brush your teeth your girl flosses your girl also oil pools so we don't do mouthwash i don't think mouthwash really does anything for me because we do a lot of holistic living we do a lot of holistic stuff our gum health our oral health our body health and different things like that are pretty much on point to where you don't need to swig with mouthwash so what we do is we just you know brush our teeth we oil pool every now and then throughout the week and we also just make sure that we keep our oral health together go to the dentist get our appointments together oh excuse me we also are mindful as to what we intake in our body as far as sweets and different things like that i don't give my children sweets i barely eat sweets like that sugar is an addiction to my kids okay it's like a drug you give it to them they want more they want more and they all over the place and ain't nobody else got to deal with them but me okay so listen you give my children sugar they're gonna stay right on over there with you but yeah so uh, mouthwash because i don't feel like it's warranted and i feel like it's just another chunk of change coming out of my pocket that don't need to come out of my pocket okay so yeah we don't do mouthwash try oil pooling it's very healthy for you it's very good for you it's great for the teeth and you guys are coming out looking like ding also try charcoal toothbrush charcoal toothbrush uh to not toothbrush toothpaste when you brush with charcoal it is super good super healthy for you it does a miracle and it works wonders on your teeth it does teeth whitening it gets rid of gingivitis different things like that if you have a toothache girl get you some cloves stick it up in there yeah the whole nine so it, it'll help a lot so i think you know mouthwash is just a waste of money this is to me these are all my personal opinions that don't mean you got to stop buying mouthwash girl do what works for you and your family but this is what um, works for us so we do not buy mouthwash coming in at number six is hair creams and treatments as you see here i am freeform your girl is freeform like i told y'all before all i do is uh deep condition maybe about once a month um and then i co-wash my hair maybe once every two weeks but i barely do that i let my hair do its thing a lot of you don't know what freeforming is but freeform is where you just let your hair do what it's going to do some of it is going to lock some of it is going to curl some of it is going to plait some of it is doing what it's due as y'all see lily which is also known as my hair i call lily my hair um she is freeform we have been freeform for almost three years now almost three years and she has been amazing um i have six children i have also dealt with po postpartum shedding a lot especially when having my girls um when i had my boys my hair grew a lot when i had my girls it fell out a lot and i went from the cutting and all of this and other kind of stuff and i was just done so i was like you know what i'm going to freeform so i am not only just a freeform fro but i'm also freeform locked so there are some pieces that are locked there are some pieces that are just a fro like this piece right here as i'm showing you if you put your hand right here close to my root you can feel it uh it's not matted but you can feel it thick here that means that that one is locked there are some of them that are individually locked and then there are some of them that is just a fro but for the most part this is how i wear my hair in the fro i can push my hair up i can also push my hair back i can do whatever it is that i want with it i can part it down the middle the only thing i do not do is comb it i don't put anything in my hair i don't put any oils in my hair i don't put nothing in my hair and when i tell you that i mean that and when i learned how to do that and i stopped touching my hair over processing it putting a whole bunch of junk in there I noticed that it started to grow and blossom the way that it was supposed to be and not only that I wasn't dealing with a lot of itchiness and you know shedding and caught up in my hair all of that 
my children my girls are also um natural one of my girls has uh, a short natural fro and then my other girls have um lock twists in their hair and then my son is actually freeform uh, locks at the top so that's what we do here in our family so that's why we don't buy hair creams and or treatment so coming in at number uh seven is services hair salon nellery spa different things like that i do not go to the nellery i do not go to the hair salon hence the fact that i am natural as you guys see um i don't do i don't spend money on different things like that i do things at home if i want to get my nails done i'll purchase me some press-ons from some really excuse me nice um companies black owned companies different things like that i also have my own spa kit different things like that we give ourselves medic manicures pedicures me and my girls we have girls day where we do our own pampering here at home it saves a lot of money um it also cuts down on me having to figure out if i can get a babysitter or something like that so that i can go out and do what it is that i need to do i also have scoliosis so i'm very in particular as to massages because if you massage me the wrong way especially i have it bad you can paralyze me if you tap me on my spine the wrong way from the waist on down so i'm very cautious as to who i let rub my back different things like that nelleries and or spas i have sensitive skin altogether, and sometimes they don't clean their tools they don't yeah so we just cut that all out so i don't spend money on that coming in at number eight is toys my children i do not buy them toys like that okay stuff that they get for christmas or different things like that if it's toys it may come from somebody else i try to tell people anyway do not buy my children any toys they don't play with them they break them it's a waste of money okay they have electronic devices they watch tv they're homeschool they do all they have to do but my kids pretty much play with each other all the toys and different things like that they don't play with it so it's kind of useless and it's another budget that we gotta add. So, you know, yeah, we don't buy toys in our home because they don't get played with. You buy a Barbie doll, the head is on one side the next day, the legs and the arms is on the other side, and it's like, ma'am, I'm not gonna be walking around stepping on Barbie dolls, okay? So yeah, we don't buy toys. And then at number nine is cable. We do not waste money on cable. It's ridiculous. The stuff they got on TV nowadays, it's like, mm, no ma'am. So we all have devices, as you see here, here's my tablet, iPad, whatever. We have phones. All of my children have tablets from the oldest to the youngest, okay? They watch their little shows there. We use streaming apps and different things like that. I may purchase a few subscriptions here and there and that's just it. But we do not buy cable because we do not really watch TV like that. Do we have TVs? Yes. We have smart TVs that we are able to hook up streaming apps and different things like that. And that's how we watch TV. But we do not buy cable because it's a waste of money and yeah. That's another added bill that we really don't need, okay? Coming in at the last one, number 10 of the top 10 things that I do not buy um, in 2024, laundry detergent. I say laundry detergent because a lot of the stuff in the laundry detergent, again, like I told you guys before, we have eczema. My family has sensitive skin. We have sensitive skin a lot. Were we buying it in 2023? Girl, yes, we was. But after doing a lot of research and different things like that, I have decided that we will no longer buy it in 2024 and we will try to do our own DIY uh, laundry detergent where we don't have to worry about different dyes on ourselves, even down to the sensitive um, types of laundry detergent can be um, a little bit too much for me and my family. So we have decided not to buy it anymore. Um, is it a bad thing? No. Am I telling you to stop buying laundry detergent? absolutely not you do what works for you and your family do what is best for you and your family and just always remember that this is what me and my family do this is what's geared towards me but if there is something that you took from this video um from the top 10 things that i do not or will no longer buy anymore in 2024 and you would like to do it girl let me know drop it down in the comments let me know how you feel about it let me know if it worked for you if not it's okay always remember do not judge other people for what they do every family is different everybody is made differently everybody is pretty much this is a, a free country you can do what it is that you want to do as long as it is suitable for you and your family do what works for you all right so that is it you guys that is my top 10 things that i will no longer be buying or i am already not buying in the year of 2024 if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up make sure that you like comment and subscribe make sure that you tap that notification bell so that you are reminded 
every time I post a video. If you are a returning subscriber, hey butterflies, how you think how you doing? Thank you so much for coming back. And if you are a new viewer, hi, thank you so much for wanting to become a part of the family. As always, you guys have an amazing day, and until next time, I see you later. Bye.